first let me welcome everyone on behalf of the pastor and my first lady and the entire church family. I send a hearty, hearty welcome to each of you, our visitors and our members. We are so happy to have each of you uh, worship with us today here in the sanctuary as well as uh, via the internet on Facebook. We welcome you and we pray that the Lord will continue to bless you into this new year. Yes. There were many that was not able to see this 2022, but God has blessed us and uh, we're just so thankful. We give him all the praise Amen. to be Amen. able to see this new year. Our services uh, on Sunday is 8.30 Bible study here in the sanctuary. And we have regular Sunday worship time at 9 a.m. here in the sanctuary and on Facebook. And we invite everyone to join us, either there or here. We welcome you. On Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock, we have Bible study and prayer via Zoom. And beginning on uh, January the 11th, not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, we will be having Bible study, and we will be studying from the Kingdom Agenda by Tony Evans. All right, amen. All right, amen. On January the 24th, our regular scheduled business meeting will take place, and I believe that will be via Zoom as well but you'll get more information. Okay, uh, our prayer list. We ask that you continue to pray for those that are requesting special prayer. Pray for our church, our ministry, uh, that uh, we have here at Life Center and in God's kingdom all over. Our prayer list is Arthur Hampton, Elise Bell, Amelia Atkins, Aisha Osman, Bobby Hughes, Dolores, Bishop Dolores Blackman, Bobby Fraser, Cecilia uh, Mayhew, Ernest Robin, Ernest Brooks Sr., Jamika Kraft, Jesse Wheeler, Justin Gilbert, Kirk Douglas, Linda Hughes, Lisa Kimball, Perlene Kitchen, Martha Hill, Martha Kitchen, Mary Jo Johnson, Michelle Collinson, Ray Smith and family, Ricky Blackman, Robert Lawson and family, Ronnie Martin, Shirley Neal, Susan Buckley, Ted Atkins, the Raspberry family, and Vanessa O'Neill. Continue to pray for those and your family and our church family everywhere. Thank you. church to bless us in that way um, on, on, uh, on our nuptials and we're grateful amen. amen to have come this far by faith amen I uh, want to ask that you would pray for all of our children who will be traveling uh, on their way back home and to their respective places uh, Riley will be in the air tonight coming back to California and uh, um, Anthony and Simone will be traveling tomorrow night coming back to California. And Zaria will be on a flight on Thursday, a uh, Friday night. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Saturday night going back to uh, New Orleans. Amen. And so we just ask that as all of our children are flying, you pray for them, pray travel grace and mercy. Uh, pray for Sister Gloria, who I believe will be traveling back soon. Pray for her uh, in her travel grace. I'm going to ask that you would pray for Sister Marianne, amen, um, and she has sickness in her family and among friends. Pray her 
strength, amen. My heart goes out to her during these times, amen. Let us, uh, let us pray that this year be a blessed year that the Lord has called for us to be better, greater, uh, that we are prepared to receive everything that the Lord has in store for us. I just believe that this will be a good year. This will be the year of our Lord giving us jubilee, amen. Uh, and so we ask that all month that you will pray, pray all month, pray more than you have before, amen. Uh, I challenge you to pray more and often and watch the Lord bless, amen. At this time, I'm going to ask that you would stand where you are. Let us prepare to pray together, uh, amen. You Yeah. 
chapter of St. Luke. Amen. The 39th verse. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Lord, I ask that if you can, if you would stand for the reading of God's word. Amen. The first chapter of Luke. Luke, the first chapter. Luke, the first chapter. We want to begin reading today from the 39th verse. <coughs> It says that Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, and the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Amen. I want to call your attention to verse 41 that says, and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. You may be seated. I want to talk today from the theme, uh, this is your leap year. Amen. This is your leap year. Amen. Amen. Just for me, but that's for each of you that have. 
God profess Christ in your life. If you know the Lord, if you know who God is, the Holy Spirit walks amongst you. Can I get a witness here? The Holy Spirit will make a way for you. Amen. The Holy Spirit will empower you, hallelujah, to do anything within the will of God. Amen. Let's get to our scripture today. Amen. Our scripture takes us to the time in which Mary is told that she is carrying our Savior. Amen. And after Mary is told that she is carrying our Savior, amen, uh, the angel comes to Mary and tells Mary, amen, how she is to receive the Savior of the world. The angel even tells Mary what to name the Savior of the world in that of Jesus. Right. Amen. Right. But after Mary identifies with the Holy Ghost, after she identifies, amen, uh, with this powerful intervention of God, the Bible tells us that she goes off to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Amen. Right. And in my spiritual sanctified mind, I can only think that after Mary had been touched by Jesus, she had to have a little time with herself. Hallelujah today. Uh, uh, maybe there's somebody else in here that sometimes you just need to get away for a minute. Amen. You just need to come outside of your house. Amen. Because you need some me time. Can I get a witness here? You need some time. Amen. To nourish what it is that God is speaking to you. What God is doing in your life. Amen. I just believe, amen, that Mary was walking with this touch, amen, from the Holy Ghost, amen, and she had to get out and get her some air. Can I get a witness here? Amen, amen. My wife does that sometimes. Hallelujah. Amen. She, she does it well. Amen. She had to go shopping, amen, just to get away from me. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody else in here knows what I'm talking about. Amen. Uh, retail therapy. Can I get a witness here? That moment in which Amen. You just need some me time. You just need the ability, amen, to come out of your home environment and have some time to yourself. Oh, I just believe today that as Mary was walking, she was praising God, amen. It was stirring up in her soul what thus said the Lord, what had just happened, amen. It was stirring up so that the Holy Spirit was obvious in when she greeted uh, Elizabeth. Hallelujah. Oh, sanctified mind that when she knocked at the door and Elizabeth uh, opened that door, Elizabeth was so overcome, amen, by the radiance of the Holy Ghost Spirit. Can I get a witness here? She was overcome by the power of God. Well, Elizabeth was overcome so much that when Mary greeted her, amen, the Bible said that the babe within Elizabeth, she was carrying John, and the babe within her leaped in her womb. Leaped almost to identify with the anointing. The babe leaped almost to identify uh, 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 with, with what God had done. Amen. The babe leaped within Elizabeth's body, and the Bible said that after the babe leaped within Elizabeth's body, she was what? She was filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow. All right. I'm making that intent known because we need to pay attention to the signs of the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on. We need to pay attention to the signs right. of God. Amen. We need to pay attention, amen, to what God is showing us, what God is demonstrating unto us. Hallelujah. Uh, we need to be able to pay attention of how the Holy Ghost leads us, how the Holy Ghost touch us. Amen. Me and the wife were just talking the other day about how messages uh, come in front of us from God. And it's not always the message we want to hear, but God gave us a warning in and out. All right, all right. God is already speaking to us. Come on. And it's up to us to receive what it is the Lord is showing us. Amen. But all when the Spirit touches us, Boy. all when we call recognition to what God is saying when we call recognition, hallelujah, to the message that God has given us. Let me draw your attention to the 103rd number of Psalms. Thank you, Lord. Uh, the 103rd number of Psalms, amen. Uh, verse 11 says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, 
so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. That tells me that God speaks to all of us. Amen. All God speaks to all of us that fear him, that know who he is, that respect him, amen, that, that honors him. God speaks to all that profess Christ in their life, amen. God speaks to his children, amen. He all said, right. my sheep amen. shall know my voice, amen. God, God speaks to us. All we have to do, thank you, Holy Ghost, is listen to what the Lord is saying. All right. Thank all we got to do is pay attention to the signs that God is giving us. All we have to do is pay attention. Yeah. Go! 
he's about to do. And I got news for you, church. I'm expecting big things in 2022. I'm expecting a move in this church. I'm expecting a move in my life. I'm expecting a move amongst all of my children. I'm expecting a move of God in my house, on my job, in my own life. And you ought to get excited. You ought to praise God already because this is your week here. Hallelujah. This is your reason to get excited about God. God is doing a new thing. God is refreshing. God is answering prayer. God is, is hearing you. Yes, sir. God is seeing you. God is watching over you. Woo! Thank God he is. God, God is forgiving you. God is oh, yeah. moving you. God is moving you yeah. in the direction that God wants you to go. Amen. That's why, thank you, Holy Ghost. That's why sometimes it don't feel good. Amen. Because it don't feel uh, familiar unto you. Amen. That's the purpose. Uh, because God wants to move you in a way that God wants to move you. All right. God wants to bless you. Amen. And, and there's somebody in here uh, uh, that's going to be blessed so much that we can see it all over you. <laughs> all right. Oh, my yes. God, today. Somebody in here, this is your year. This is all I hear. I'm just going to declare it right now. My God, today. This is all of my year. And, and when God gives us a blessing and we come to church, right. then who? We're going we to be shouting before we even get in the sanctuary. All right. Hallelujah. The light of God is going to be so radiant and obvious over us. Amen. Our leap will be made known this year. Hallelujah. Our, our leap to what God has in store for us. Amen. We leap not only in our womb, but in our life. Our leap will be made known by man and woman. This is our year. This is our year. We've got to start believing that. We've got to start trusting that. We got to start paying attention to what the Lord is showing us. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Thank God that 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 the, that the delight was radiant amongst uh, Mary so much that it caught the attention of Elizabeth. It caught the attention of what was in her womb. It caught the attention, amen, right. that, that she was just not herself. Right. And the light should be radiant just as much amongst man and woman. All right. And when we, when we receive the answer to our prayer, All right. that thing that we've been praying for, that thing that we've been expecting, we all do like Mary and Elizabeth and go Blessing God. You know, some people are blessed because they don't bless God. All right, all right. Some people are blessed because they can't hardly say hallelujah. Some people are blessed because they don't hardly recognize God when they get blessed. Amen. You know to bless God before, after, and during. Can I get a witness here? Bless God within the blessing. Bless God within the victory. Amen. Because you know, This is your year that God, in fact, will bless you. But you have got to believe and trust the signs. You have got to believe, amen, and worship God more than ever before. You've got to pray more than ever before. You've got to lean towards God more than ever before. You've got to believe God. You've got to trust God. You've got to have faith in God. Amen. You've got to be in the face of God more than ever before. Mary was blessed with Jesus. Why? Because she was humble. She was faithful. Amen. She was a virgin. Amen. And she was called by God because she was set aside because of that purpose. And all of you have been faithful. All of you have been honorable before God's sight. If you, if you feel that you are not, then get that way. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There may be somebody out there watching me. If you feel you can do better in church, then get that way. If you feel 
that you can do better in God's sight than get that way. If you feel there's more that you can do as far as your faith belief, then get there so that the Lord can bless you. God got blessings waiting for you. How many of you believe that? Oh, yeah. Trust him. Right. Trust that he does. Oh, yeah. Amen. There may be somebody here today that has not yet accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior of their life. I invite you to come. We're going to ask everybody to stand. Amen. You can come as a candidate for baptism. You can come by way of Christian experience. Amen. I don't care how you come. Amen. The important thing is that you come. You come. Amen. If you're looking at us on Facebook, reach out to us, inbox us. Amen. We will gladly accept you into the household of faith. Come.
got together in the room. He took a loaf of bread and uh, he told he said to them, Amen, I will not be with you long during this time. This was during that Palm Sunday week that uh, he spoke with his brethren and he said, I will not be with you long. And he took uh, a loaf of bread, amen, and he broke it and he took the crumbs, the remnant, and he said, take, he eat of my body. And they all ate together. And then they took the gallop of wine and he turned the gallop of wine up and he said, take, he drink, this is for the shed blood that will die on the cross and for the remission of all sin. And they all drank together. And the Bible says they went out into the Mount of Olives and fellowship with one another. Amen. What a fellowship. What a Thank you. 